A Bronx high school student is fighting for his life tonight. He was stabbed in the neck as he walked to school. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports from Westchester Square. The crime scene just outside PS12, a school for special needs students. The attack weapon, a pair of scissors, the handles wrapped in tape. The victim, seen here on a Blackberry, 16-year-old Negro Rivera. His mother rushed to Jacoby Hospital after the attack. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't talk. I just wanted to run over here. That's my baby, so... Cassandra Rivera admits her son was troubled, but can't believe he suffered such a brutal attack. Witnesses told police several students from nearby Lehman High School jumped Rivera as he approached PS12, and someone plunged the scissors into his neck. He walked through the door, and he had a big hole in his neck, and blood was coming out, a lot of blood, because he got stabbed from boys from the other school. Some kids say that he's a bully. So he gets, so like the, the kids get picked on and stuff like that. This student says Rivera never bothered him, but others use that same word, bully, to describe Rivera. Cops were checking out reports the attack was done on behalf of a student Rivera had bullied. Rivera's mother says he himself complained of being bullied. Well, finally, my son it got fed up and it's like he's not taking it no more, but I guess, you know, the best caught up to him. Cassandra Rivera says she recently filed a so-called PINS petition seeking to have her son put into foster care and transferred out of PS12. He spent long hours here at Jacoby today undergoing surgery to repair his jugular vein. Tonight he remains in critical condition. In the Morris Park section of the Bronx, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Secure day was stepped up at both PS12 and nearby Lehman High School. So far, no arrests.